Good morning. Let us study today what is called X-ray diffraction. And there are two methods, X-ray diffraction methods. One is rotating crystal method, two powder XRD method. What is the principle of X-ray spectrometer? Define X-ray diffraction. What is called X-ray diffraction? It is a very, very powerful method to elucidate the three-dimensional crystal structure of simple compounds and macromolecules such as protein, DNA, etc. Lattice parameters A, B, C, alpha, beta, gamma and interplanar spacings between the various planes present in the plane. The crystals are used as diffraction gratings for us because X-rays are electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic waves of short wavelength. The wavelength of X-rays is of the same order of the interatomic or interplanar spacing in crystal. Okay. That's why because of this, crystals are used as diffraction gratings for X-rays. In addition to X-ray diffraction method, there are electron diffraction, neutron diffraction methods. We will see the advantages and disadvantages of the There are two types of X-ray XRD or there are two types of X-ray diffraction methods that are widely used for the Studying crystal structures, rotating crystal method, powder method or powder XRD method. This is the experimental setup for rotating crystal method. This is the principle of X-ray spectrometer. The principle of this is the setup used for X-ray spectrometer for rotating crystal method. It consists of X-ray source which generate X-rays. It is fixed, it is not movable. Whereas the sample, the single crystal is placed, mounted on or placed on turntable or rotating table. It is fixed, it is movable, the single crystal is rotated, it be rotated. And this is called a slit to make it narrow beam of the X-rays or is called receiver. The receiver is either photographic film surrounded surrounding the single crystal or ionization transfer. The experimental method for rotating crystal technique is described here. The procedure for rotating crystal method is explained here. X-rays are generated in the X-ray tube. It is fixed. The X-rays are passed through a slit to make it a narrow beam. Okay. Then the X-rays are allowed to fall on the single crystal. In rotating crystal method, a single crystal is used and the monochromatic X-rays are used. Remember, in rotating crystal method, a single crystal is used and monochromatic X-rays are used. Whereas in powder XRD, powder XRD, in powder XRD, Microcrystals are used, not single crystals, microcrystals are used and also and also the, the in, in the case of monochromatic X-rays, in the powder XRD method, it is the sample is 
single the microcrystalline samples are not rotated so this sin the single crystal single crystal is mounted on the turn table or rotating table the crystal is rotated by means of rotating the turn table so that the glancing angle initially it will be like this glancing angle is zero the crystal is rotated so that the glancing angle is gradually increased to get the reflection the reflected x-ray in the receiver okay the lowest glancing angle the lowest glancing angle corresponds to first order reflection the lowest angle at which the reflections occur at which the reflections occur is first order reflection the lowest angle corresponds to n equal to 1 as we increase the angle we increase as we rotate the crystal and seeing angle is increased the next higher angle at which the reflection occurs is second order as we increase further third order reflections occurs okay as we increase the order the, re the reflections are of less intensity the reflections of intensity and this glancing angle the x-ray beam are in phase with each other on falling the crystal plane okay the theta values obtained for sodium chloride crystal for the first three planes corresponding to first order reflection are shown here theta equal to 5.9 degree for plane 1 hkl plane 8.1 this is the glancing angle for plane 2 for phase 2 this is the glancing angle for plane 3 applying the Bragg's law for Bragg's equation n lambda equal to d sin theta we have already derived it d equal to n lambda by 2 sin theta on rearranging this equation this equation is given now for monochromatic x-ray lambda is constant n for first order reflection n equal to 1 therefore d is inversely proportional to sin theta therefore the ratio of interplanar spacings of the first three planes, the ratio of interplanar spacing or the ratio of distance between interplanar spacing of three planes respectively is 1 by sin 5.9, 1 by sin 8.4. The values obtained are for 1 by sin 5.9, 9.61. 5.84, 11.04. Let us divide by 9.61, 9.61 to get the ratio. Okay, so the ratio of interplanar spacing for the three planes respectively is very close to that for expected for FCC lattice. Sodium chloride possesses base and head cubic lattice. From rotating crystal method, we have obtained the we have obtained the crystal structure and lattice parameters, etc. The FCC crystal structure of sodium chloride is shown here. I have already described this. Thank you for watching.